Although there was war in the far north and fighting in the Wellington region in the mid-1840s, it was in the 1860s that war dominated New Zealand. It began in Taranaki in 1860, spread to the Waikato in 1863 and continued across the central North Island until 1872. The war in Taranaki started when the government insisted on dealing with one chief over a block of land at Waitara, against the wishes of senior chief Wiremu Kingi Terangitake and most of the people living on the land. The Māori who resisted this sale were branded as rebels and troops were sent in. The open warfare that followed lasted for a year. Governor Gray later admitted the Crown had been at fault and returned the block to its owners. By 1863, with settler demands for land growing, Governor Gray was determined to impose British sovereignty over Māori once and for all. He ordered a mixed colonial and imperial army across the Mangatawhiri River into the heartland of the Kingitanga. Gray justified this attack because he believed the Kingitanga was the main source of Māori resistance and because he feared an attack on Auckland. The Waikato campaign was the largest and most important of the New Zealand wars. Many Māori from other areas joined the war or supported it. But the Māori side never had more than 2,000 men in the field, compared to Gray's 14,000. By April 1864, some Kingitanga leaders were ready to lay down their arms. But Gray offered only these harsh terms. Submit to the Queen and surrender all your arms and land. The government had devised a program of land confiscation, or raupatu. None of the Kingitanga leaders were prepared to accept these terms and instead moved south into the Ngāti Maniapoto heartland where they were not pursued by the British. The Waikato War was effectively over and the fighting spread to Tauranga, the east coast and other parts of the central North Island. Following the spread of war across the North Island, vast areas of land were confiscated in the Waikato, Taranaki, Bay of Plenty and Hawke's Bay districts, as well as two forced sessions of land on the East Coast. In all, some 4 million acres were confiscated after the New Zealand wars. Although about half this land was eventually returned or paid for, it was often not to its original owners. The Waikato Tainui Raupatu claims were finally settled in 1995 and the minister in charge told Parliament the invasion of the Waikato was wrongful and totally unjustified. The confiscations were unjust and Waikato Tainui, far from being in rebellion, were in fact defending hearth and home. The Waikato war and the confiscations caused widespread devastation. The people were dispersed and there was widespread suffering.